No, no one's running NSR because it's just typing now. You just type in your speedrun with Ace. Someone has done it, Mew. Uh, Safe State has actually done a run. The route is really dumb, all it is. So if you know the SRM setup for any percent, or at least any percent back on N64, it's similar to that, but with a slightly different setup and file name. And then you die and you make a new file. And then you do the same thing with a different file name. And then you die again. And then you can type on the file select screen with no character limit. So it's essentially the equivalent of two N64 any percent runs back to back. And then you just type out, you just spend like 10 minutes typing on file select. It's a fantastic speedrun. How will I be spending Christmas this year? By doing Ocarina of Time 100% speedruns? Maybe, I don't know. What would my fellow OT runners say if they knew I willingly watched LACS yesterday? I think this is the one time where OT runners would be okay with watching LACS. Did CLG win? Not really. LACS in the context of Ocarina of Time is light arrow cutscene, but there was a Smash tournament yesterday called Ludwig Ogren Championship Series, I think, abbreviated as LACS, and the OOT community infamously hates light arrow cutscene, but this is not where I set for Rosewind. Am I gonna wear a Christmas hat while doing runs on Christmas? Maybe, and maybe not, and you'll never know. The answer is no. I'll, I'll wear a Christmas hat in Animal Crossing though. I love the Animal Crossing Santa outfit. By the way, I'll probably play a little bit of Animal Crossing today. There's something I want to show you guys. Do I play DNO? I don't know what that is. I had a feeling it was some kind of these nuts related thing. I knew I shouldn't have answered that, but I trusted a mod. I guess I know not to even trust my mods. Why do I trust anyone? Yeah, well, I'm gonna fire all the mods except you guys. Okay, everything still worked fine. No! Uh, I think that messes this up. I don't know for sure. I didn't know targeting there would actually talk to him. This might still work. Okay, now it's... Um, this might work. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit of an awkward uh, way to save this. Okay, this is gonna be very strange. Nope. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't drop the bugs there. Uh, okay, I know why that happened. Okay, at least it's something useless. Oh no. Um, and that's over. That ruins the run. Because now I lost bomb shoes. Do I have any weird stories about meeting my subs at events like GDQ? Uh, not really. People have been not too weird. Just a little bit. Just your standard amount of weird. Okay, yeah, sure. Prack was a little bit weird. Oh yeah, you did buy me IHOP. Okay, I can Okay, I take it back. Fine. You win this one. The 5 PS5 guy. Yeah, I actually, I actually did see the 5 PS5's video. I'm glad it happened. Next GDQ. I mean, I'm for sure going to the next in-person GDQ, but uh, when that is, who knows? In this Zoom call, we can mute the donation reader. I mean, we'll be in Discord. Honestly, I might be able to mute the donation reader. <laughs> Assuming, I assume the donation reader is also going to be in the Discord call. I mean, I would only it would only be muted on my side though. But then, then I would just start randomly talking while the donation reader is trying to read donations. <laughs> but no, I won't do that. Although that said, uh, all dungeons commentary is hard, and we might not have that much time to get donations in. We dual quality of GDQ, yeah, it's gonna be nice. I can actually use my my Wii at full power, full quality power. Probably gonna look extra good, cause it'll be on like a smaller screen. Cause you know, they'll like shrink it a little bit to fit on their layout. Will I ever turn on predictions? Whenever I remember to, because I keep telling myself I'm going to turn it on and then I forget. But I actually do think it's cool. Although you can only do two options with predictions, right? Because I want to do it with something like Dampe, but it would kind of have to just be like an over-under for Dampe if it's only two options. I guess we can do like over-under seven or something, which is like the median. Dude, the 
The scrub back there shot the nut as soon as I turned. This isn't that bad, it's just spooky mask. So it doesn't really matter. Just annoying. Why do scrubs always look sad? Because some some random human is invading their territory. They just want to be left alone. They just don't want to be hurt. Those flowers look fake. I hate to break it to you, man, but they are. In fact, everything in this game is fake. It's a video game, not real life. They're just pixels, man. Focus, yeah, I gotta focus real hard for Dampe here. Gotta focus real hard for opening this chest, because I somehow missed it. Yeah, I saw the prediction. I saw uh, a lot more people predicting for good try. Thank you. All the people predicting bad try. Thanks, I guess. I've had like 17, two 14s, and 11. I've had one, one. I, I did get first try once, and I got six try, which is my PB. Wait, is that the one that uh, the doubters win, or is this the one? Well, either way, I guess. I guess doubters win. The bad luck streak continues. My chat believes in me. <laughs> wow. I know, they only believe in me at Dampe. No, like two thirds of the chat voted that I would get a good Dampe, and the other third voted for bad Dampe, and the doubters won. So you okay. All right, I'll try. 25 try Dampe. Let's see if I can make this the new uh, worst Dampe in a record. I definitely can still PD, by the way. It's not even close to out of the question. Like, it's very realistically possible. Coco can be so hard to grab with F boots. Oh my god. Never mind, I can't PB. I'm too bad. I forgot. I can't talk to her with Bunny Hood. I can talk to this guy with Bunny Hood at least. This guy isn't afraid of bunnies. That was very bad. Because now I wasted hits on BGS. I don't know how many hits that was. It may have looked like two hits, but there can be double hits, which it might have been. I'm also repairing BGS, the run being over. Because if you break it, it, you're most likely breaking it as adult. And as adult, come on. Uh, if you break it, you'll lose Furrow's Wind on B, which is very, very bad. Because getting Furrow's Wind on B back alone costs like four minutes. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Alright. In the green again, finally. Is it cool to get record with 25th try Dampe? I mean, in one way. <laughs> You might think of it as, oh, it's cool if you get uh, a good run with a bad Dampe because it like, oh, it shows that you overcame adversity and you still got a PB with a bad Dampe. But you know what the reality is? The reality is I could be on sub 310 pace right now. Oh no. I mean, I'm still going to try my best, but I'm going to be very mad about it. I care more about this run because of how it's teaching me what I'm capable of right now, and not the fact that this can or cannot PB. My Dampe Lux in my N64 cart. Dude, you know what? You've, you're onto something. Now that I think about it, I think my luck was way better on N64 than on VC. Now that I think about it, I think my luck kind of went downhill once we switched to VC. That horse and opponent nade at the same time. So it sounded weird. Pseudo 2000, because I intentionally waste a bunch of arrows at the beginning, because it's faster. Intentionally, yeah. Oh yeah, man, I really was trying super hard for those first few arrows. Oh, in the second one, I actually use all of them. For the first one, you only need a thousand, so I waste arrows as quickly as possible. Second one, I need 1500, and I don't want to risk it. I kind of want to go for a double 2k again, but I don't know. Dude, the, 
the extra the extra few seconds, man. If it was less time, but like, dude, it's seconds. I need those seconds. Dude. <laughs> Why do I do that? As I say that, I do it again. I have two spare controllers. In addition to the one that I'm using. Kind of three, but one isn't very good. Okay, yeah, now no more giant's knife. Now I can flash all I want. Huh? Uh, this is not where I'm supposed to go, but I can maybe do a little bit of route management. Um, is this is where I'm supposed to go immediately after Zora's Fountain. Uh, so all I'm missing is Zora's Fountain. Uh, ignore the split. I have to skip the split. I'm just gonna go through the route as I should for now. How do I fix this? I don't know what to do. I don't have a setup to go to Zora's Domain. There's Zora's Fountain. I gotta get up the setup thing. Okay, well that kind of kills it. I can kind of still save this, but now that's really bad. Okay, this might crash. I just kind of have to go with something. Um, okay. Please let me up. Oh my god. I can't... Oh my god, dude. This isn't worth saving. Okay. Uh, I'm s still not saved yet. I need to remember what directions or what to warp to Circuit Force Meadow. Rip. That was gonna be the last thing that would save the run. If that, if that, if I got that, uh, the run would be saved. I'd be back on track. I'd be right here. Yeah, bad angle. Dang, this this was almost like the clutchest run of all time. Okay, what angle did I actually get? Oh, see, I thought this angle was four thousand, but this angle is four thousand. I got it mixed up. I should have known. I should have looked at the mini map. If I had done this. If I had done this... Actually, no, I, I probably would have forgotten the single unit angle, so I probably would have done this instead of uh, 604. Well, let me see if this works. Okay, it would have worked, so... If I had remembered which angle was uh, 4000, I would have saved it. Well, that was certainly a run. I think I still would have been behind at Poe Bottle, though. My chat is a reflection of me. So, a lot of people always say that. A lot of people always say, oh, the chat is re the reflection of the streamer. And my chat specifically, I've seen many people say that my chat specifically is the exception. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You can interpret it however you want. Overall, it was a roller coaster of a run. That was probably the strangest run I've done in quite a while. The highlight video for that run will be good. Actually, no, the highlight video won't be good because it'll just be damp hay and then it'll just skip to the end where I crash because all, all Dry does is highlight the mistakes and I didn't actually make very many mistakes besides damp hay. Maybe Dry will be forced to highlight some good plays this time. I'm just kidding, Dry. Maybe actually play well. I did. It's not my fault that damp hay cost me nine minutes. I actually played well that run. 
Okay, I haven't been playing well recently though. Like the last week, or I guess like last week specifically, I was playing like really bad. But I think I am playing better now. I do this like half my runs. If I were to get rid of 10 year old muscle memory. Channel okay, no predictions if I finish a run or not. I feel like you guys are gonna be a little bit mean with those predictions. Yeah, it'd be 95 to five. Yeah, we can we can mess with like changing uh, what try to go for. We could even just do uh, first try. Yes or no on first try. No. Why'd I do that? I got mixed up. I get mixed up with what to do on various aspects of the setup sometimes just because like there's a lot of similar situations and like similar situations blend together sometimes and I get mixed up. Yeah, this is over. Animal Crossing. You guys really want Animal Crossing. All right. Okay, so I have something very interesting I want to show you guys. So you guys know how my town looks like garbage. I don't have any mail. Okay. So you know how my town looks like garbage? Like I have like it, it just looks awful, right? I've done like so little work on trying to make my town look good and everything. But yesterday, I, so I was making snow um, snowmen yesterday and I came over here and I saw this. <laughs> and this only spawns when you have a five star town and it's random. I was just, <laughs> so I was just, I wasn't even paying attention. I just like saw this out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, how did I get this? Don't you need a five star town for that? And I went to go check Isabel and I did get a five star town. I got my gold watering can and I was thinking, how in the world did I get a five star town? I have put absolutely no effort into getting a five star town. Then I realized my jail bar wall counts as a lot of furniture. This ugly eyesore balloon farming wall <laughs> Counts as a ton of furniture towards a five-star town. <laughs> so me making a balloon farm wall got me a five-star town. <laughs> You're leaving. <laughs> How to get a five-star town easy, I, I guess. It is crazy. I, I couldn't believe it. I was so confused last night. Cause like, I, I didn't play until like midnight last night. I just wanted to like make a snowman real quick and, and just that's it. I just want to make a snowman and go to bed. And I, I just saw this. I'm like, how, how did I get this? Like I get a five star town. I think of how, how in the world did I get a five star town? And then I remember this. It's just like, wow.